Good evening, everyone. I'm here with my wonderful wife, Laura. And you're Nathan. I am Nathan. <laughs> I was about to say who you were. We're here to do a quick review of Monopoly, The Block Edition. Yes. Uh, so, if you don't know it, The Block is a, a renovation competition TV show. Yeah. Um, I think it's maybe been in other countries, but this is the Australian one, just in case there is they, some else. A whole bunch of teams get either different rooms or different houses. They all renovate. Different houses or apartments. Yep. They renovate each week new challenges, and then whoever at the end gets the most money when their unit or house sells. <laughs> These are real houses or units or apartments. Real houses. Yeah. They actually then auction them after they've gone through and renovated every room and every space in the home, uh, and they can win money based on whether they uh, make the most money and, and like how much it sells for. Just go to Wikipedia end. or Google and type <laughs> in the block and you're all good. So this version of Monopoly was actually released last year in 2019 for that series. The new season is, is actually on now in Australia again at the time we're yes, filming Yes, the 2020 this. cursed season. Because of COVID. <gasps> anyway, so this one was released last year, not only is obviously for them to make money, but it was also a chance to actually win one of the apartments that was on there in 2019. Now, I will... These were expensive Yes, I was just too. about to say, what <laughs> makes me angry about this particular one is this was, I think, between eight $80 and $90, I think, depending yes, on the retailer. This, this version of Monopoly. And that was because not only did you get the board game, um, but also, obviously, that opportunity to win a very expensive apartment. It was essentially well. buying a really expensive lottery ticket. Yeah. They were ooh, a couple of million dollars, I think, the, yeah. the apartments. Um, so, our one, Is, we... Was it St. Kilda? I can't remember. There have been, like, so many blocks. I can't remember. I've gotten, gotten a bit lost. Uh, well, there you go. There's... Um, Actually, a bit of a description of the show, if you're not familiar with it, hosted by Scott Cam, who is um, in the middle of the board there and on the front of the box. Apparently, it's Australia's number are, one reality show. Are you sure it was last year? It says 2018. You sure it wasn't the year before? Oh, I thought it was last year. Either Maybe way. Maybe that's just the copyright for Hasbro. I don't know. I thought it was last year's season. We got this uh, copy. Uh, it was brand new, I think, a year after it came out. And we got it for, like, under $10 brand new. Because, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, after the ticket was no longer redeemable... It pretty much lost all its value. Exactly. So as you can see, ours is sealed. Uh, we didn't enter the competition because we got it after it ended. So. Yeah, and there's no way I was paying that much money for a Monopoly. And the chances that we were going to win were probably oh. pretty slim. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be filming somewhere much nicer right now. What are you saying? We're in a luxury abode. All right. Let's get that off. So I believe that the properties in this are all of the locations of the past block yes. shows, uh, block seasons here in Australia. It's been running for quite a while. It started originally with a different host um, and then like, came back and was a lot more popular the second time around. All right, I've opened up the pieces because they're actually unique. All right, so there is the ticket. Scratch here. Winning the block apartment. You had a code under there. You had to go and enter. Um, that was all of the information and obviously this is no longer valid so we're not going to scratch it because it's kind of pointless so. It reminds me of Willy Wonka's golden ticket. I've got a golden ticket. It does. Um, I've I, got I, a golden I, ticket. I quite like that as a collectible. We collect monopolies so I and think then it's kind of neat. We have a massive uh, terms and conditions of ye old competition. Yep again not really that relevant anymore. Had all the dates on it. No, it was 2018. Hmm. Well, oh, there you go. you go. Yeah, sorry. So two years ago. There's some editing for you in the oh, intro. Oh, yay. <laughs> um, so here we have the instructions. I'm not sure I'm going to upload. We're not going to upload them because it's literally identical to Monopoly. Monopoly. Yeah, as far as we know, there's nothing different about the actual gameplay. You go. can pause it, I guess, and... Have a read if you wanted to. Is all the money white? Oh, I haven't had the look, obviously, because it was sealed. So, well, let's find out. So, no, the money is is colourful. Thank goodness. <laughs> that would be... It'd be a bit hard to sort of uh, get your head around it. It would be. I um, can't actually get into that. How about I look at something yeah, you else? You just painted your nails. So you don't want to damage those. That wasn't the problem. I just couldn't get it open. All right. So, we have little green houses Which do there. look slightly different to the regular ones. Mm, Maybe. Yeah. Um, but they're just standard greenhouses. There's nothing unique, I guess, about them. You could put those in any Monopoly and you wouldn't know. Yeah, that it's just along. standard Monopoly. No, like, additional modifications to it. Um, that's just a bag of all the houses. <laughs> so then we have the Red Hotels. Again, it's just a fairly standard looking little hotel. The special thing about this, obviously, was the, the ticket. ticket. Yeah. And? Uh, standard... Dice, in fact, these feel kind of light and cheap compared to others. Now, here we have, this is a massive piece. It's a 
by Shum, one of the blocks. That, that was the season that um, feel it, came out. Feel how heavy that is. The, the Gatwick? Yeah, the Gatwick Hotel, Maybe? I think. Yeah, it was a really big old um, property. We have a drill. Got to have a drill when you're doing home renovations. Um, the teams on the show usually don't have a lot of experience with renovations. Like no. they, they might have like a little bit. Minimal. They're not, they're not like professionally trained or anything like that. So look, there have been. There's been like, you know, an electrician, but they do it in pairs. So it's like an electrician and mate who doesn't know what they're doing or something like so that. So there's a gnome that says the block. Yep, so that's featured in the show as a, a prize. Hard hat. Mm -hmm. Wheelbarrow. So the wheelbarrow is just a standard yeah. Monopoly piece because you can already, already get and that. And a ute. Yeah, they're usually sponsored by a car company each year. I um, couldn't tell you what it is. I'm not going to bother opening. Oh, actually, we yes, should we open are. these oh, yeah. because um, I said, oh, that's just the properties, but the chance cards and that should be different they too. They might be different. We'll have to find out. So let's open up the board while Nathan opens that. Oh, it's very yellow. Very yellow. Okay, so we start down here. Uh, the corners are the same. So go uh, jail and obviously free parking. Oh, and static go electricity. Oh no, plastic. <laughs> All right, so then uh, we have the properties here. So we've got, for example, Roscoe Street in Bondi and Whistler Street in, in Manly, so a previous filming location. Uh, community chests and uh, chances are the same, although they're orange. Aren't they normally red? Yeah, it could just be a misprint, to be honest. Maybe. Oh, there's a blue one and pink. No, but they're all different colours, aren't they? Huh. Now I'm confused. I can't remember. Someone let us know. Anyway, here are the properties. We'll probably just show you on the board, but they're all like, you know, Sky High South Melbourne... Mm -hmm. Uh, commercial Road South Yarra, High Street Paran. All the different places. What a pain to park in around there, I tell you. Yes, it is. So that one's in Melbourne for anyone who doesn't know where Paran is. So we're all familiar with the area. Then we have the chance cards, advance the nearest uh, transport station. You're a chump. Pay 15. Noise complaint, go back three spaces. So they're actually so themed to. They're themed, but with the same outcomes of the cards in regular Monopoly. Vote Body Corporate, Advance to Sky High South Melbourne, Chance, Make General chance. Repairs. Yes, we know they're the Chance cards, thank you. Advance to Duck's House, you're an all star. Take a trip to Bondo Junction Station. You you score a perfect 10 from your judges. Neil, Shana, and Darren. I'm glad you pronounced so it. Those are the three judges uh, who come in each week and uh, score the rooms, whatever room um, they've had to renovate that particular week. So yeah, like you said, they're the same outcomes, just different flavour text. Yeah, exactly. They move theme to the block. Uh, if we keep moving around, we do kind of have stations, except a little bit different. Different. That's a different. I can speak. I promise. Uh, we have a ferry over on this side, mm -hmm. and the other ones are stations. Are they uh, trams or are they trains? Well, this one says Flinders Street Station so over the back, which is in Melbourne. So, so it just looks like they look like a, look like a bit like trams, well, but yeah. So the one on this side says number ninety six tram St Kilda. It's the same picture. So uh, it's the same picture. So maybe um, there is a tram stop at Flinders Street Station as well. Anyway, or as my nav man used to call it, Flinders Street. <laughs> yes, that is true. So instead of our kind of taxes here, we have a tools down, which is when they have to stop. Because they down. can't legally work past said hour. Mm -hmm. um, or it might be the end of the week. <gasps> budget we blowout. Budget blowout. If we keep coming around here, we have instead of the uh, electric company, the block shop, which is a special shop they usually have local that has um, homewares and furniture and things like that. Uh, yeah, so Manly Ferry there. Keep coming around. Whoop. It's getting stuck somewhere. Uh, and then we have furniture shop. The furniture shop specifically. So the block shop and the furniture Our shop. electricity furniture and blocks. water companies. Yep. Coming around, you can pause and have a look at all the different properties if you would like. And then here we are back around. Yeah, so there's the Gatwick. That was the St. Kilda one. That was what I was trying to think of earlier. So, um, look, I think it could be worse. I, 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 I've seen worse additions. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. I don't think this one is too bad, aside from the original yeah. price. I mean, like I said, they're, they're, there's different colours of the back of them. There's different flavour text for the chance cards and things. Which is nice that they haven't just put um, the original There's actually, in. you know, different moving pieces. We've had yeah. some editions where they've got the identical to normal, just the normal Monopoly. Ones. Yeah, so it's nice to see themed ones. Um, so I wouldn't be, like I said, as harsh, but the fact it was pretty much twice or three times the retail value of a normal Monopoly you could buy in like a big W yeah. or a Target. It, that's what was which i mean if you were really wanting to enter the like competition to win um the apartment fair enough fine you're gonna go and pay it if you're the sort of person who is able to 
and wants to buy, you know, tickets in like the Royal Hospital Home yep. Lottery, you know, they're more expensive tickets, fine. But if you just wanted it for the board game because you're a fan of the block or you're a fan of Monopoly like us, the price was pretty steep, which is why we waited to pick it yeah, up. Yeah, they, they had so many of these, um, you know. After the competition. So ended, many, yeah. and they, they slashed the prices, so there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know down below if you watch The Block in Australia or if you've got something similar or the same sort of show in your country where you're from. Oh, I'm sure there's... there's I've seen a couple personally in the UK. I'm sure there's a lot of renovation oh, yeah. shows out there. We, we have more than just this in Australia as well. Uh, hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.